Crawford wings. And here's the one-two pass in football. And in June, it's quite the thing. Finished, Pete? Finished. And how? My book and me both. One more like that last female and you'd have found me hiding under this bed. Whew. What a day. <laughs> Brace up, sourpuss. What you need is a beer at Tony's. Are you trying to cheer me up? Or is that a gentle hint that I'm low man and set up the beers tonight? I'm always misunderstood. Or am I? Well, it's not much of a toast, but here's to our host. <laughs> Is that supposed to be poetry? Oh, sometimes I just toss it off like that. That's how he sells so much. He dishes out poetry to his customers. Well, he sells them anyway. That's more than I did today. Don't let it throw you, Pete. When you've been selling furniture as long as I have, you'll take the bad with the good. That's what I told him. He's only been selling a short time. You see, kid, you've got to specialize. Now take Archie here. He does it with those ties. Chooses them so carefully, the ladies mistake them for traffic lights and stop right in front of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I suppose you do it with Dr. Spellbinder's hair tonic. <laughs> My brains, too. I sold three beauty rests today. Mm, you better be careful. If you keep that up, you'll burn yourself out before you're 40. <laughs> <laughs> you stuck your neck out that time, Bill. You see, Pete, these two experts just use the old one-two method. One-two? Yes. It's a way of selling that gets pretty consistent results. Well, let me in on it, Bill. Well, I made a sale today to some people by the name of Halsey. After we'd said good morning, Mrs. Halsey asked to see some mattresses. Mr. Halsey added, something comfortable, not too expensive. Right over here is the new Simmons beauty rest, I said. To my mind, it's got everything. But I'll let you both be the judge of that. Just try it. Mrs. Halsey sat down on the beauty rest, and her face showed how comfortable she found it. She turned to ask Mr. Halsey what he thought of it, but Papa was among the missing. He was strolling over towards the beauty rest headboard display, and you can bet that little William followed him right up. As he did that, I pointed out, you see, each of the 837 coils in the beauty rest works independently, like piano keys, as you can see in this illustration. These coils over here don't move at all. This feature means a lot to you in better comfort and better health. Most mattresses have the ordinary action, what I call a hammock type, tied together by wire so they tend to sag in the middle, like a hammock. With a beauty rest, you don't have that trouble. Then Mr. Halsey pulled a fast one. He said, young man, if you weighed what I'd do, You'd roll to the middle on any mattress. But I answered him quickly. Any but the new deeper beauty rest, sir. It's different. I urged him to stretch out on it so he'd see what I meant. Then I proved my point like this. You see, there's not the slightest depression in the space between you two people. So each of you receives just the right amount of relaxing support for comfortable sleep. All that seemed to register and then Mr. Halsey kind of lost interest. He said, you look at the other mattresses if you want to, Susan. I'll wait right here. This seemed like a good opportunity to sell them the combination and explain that the Beautyrest box spring was made especially for use with the Beautyrest mattress 
and that the pair gives you the utmost in sleeping comfort. Mrs. Halsey looked at the box spring, but still seemed undecided. Then she opened up and told me why. On this mattress, she said, I'd feel as though I were floating in the clouds, but that's just it. It's so very soft. And Mr. Halsey's such a heavy person. He weighs over 200 pounds. I wonder how it will wear. I got the idea, but I said to Mrs. Halsey, perhaps you haven't heard the story of the torture machine. What's that, she asked? And boy, did I go to town on this one. The torture machine, says I, is a 200-pound roller which is used by the United States Testing Company Laboratory to test mattresses, all kinds of mattresses. After 489,000 poundings by the torture machine, the new beauty rest was still in good sleeping condition, and no other mattress has ever stood up in a test even a third as long. Then I remarked that the new deeper beauty rest undergoes this terrific beating every month and called her attention to the certificate of construction with its many other selling points. This put it over. Mrs. Halsey asked her husband, George, what do you think of that? And what was her answer? Both of us wonder if we're hearing things, and we are. Was my face red? Mrs. Halsey was as embarrassed as the Dickens. George, she says, and it louder, George, I believe you were asleep. Nonsense, my dear, asleep nothing. I heard every word he said, and I'll pay him for it right now. <laughs> <laughs> so he went to sleep. <laughs> what a break for you, Bill. But don't forget, son, that Bill told Mrs. Halsey while Mr. Halsey slept, telling her why the beauty rest was different and better. That's part one of the old one, too. But all customers aren't like the Halsey. Of course not. There's Mrs. Mortimer Millions who can't count all her cash. Then there's old lady Seesaw. She sees a mattress here she likes, she saw another there. Can't make up her mind. And the newly married who haven't anything but love, baby. And don't forget Miss Sophie Snooper, who loves to bargain hunt. But there are many pleasant folks like the Halseys that we enjoy selling. And does this uh, one-two stunt work with all of them? I've used it in different ways with everybody, Pete. I'd even go so far as to say most of the people I sell Beauty West to aren't even planning to spend $39.50. But when a woman discovers how much more she gets in comfort and all-round satisfaction from a Beauty West, she prefers to pay a little more. Pop is right. Sometimes people who haven't thought of spending $39.50 turn out to be the best Beauty West customers. Well, you may be right. But there's another point that I don't agree with. Why dish out a lot of construction information to women? No female gives a hang about it. I had the same idea until one day I got an earful from my wife and her bridge guests. When I got home, I thought our cat was all that was left of the party. Then I heard voices in the bedroom. It seemed smarter to duck out of sight if I could until the gang had gone home. Then I looked through a crack in the doorway, and did I get an eyeful? Mm -mm. What I saw made me decide to stick around. Some blonde baby, I forget her name now, was complimenting Helen on the way she had redecorated our bedroom. Helen answered, here's my prized possession. A beauty rest pipes up blondie. I've seen them advertised. The other one asks if they're comfortable, so Helen invites her to lie down and try it. She does. And then coos at Helen. Mmm, you lucky girl. Why can't I persuade Jim to buy me a million dollar mattress? Or did you get this one at a sale? No, says Helen. But Archie says it's a bargain at $39.50. It's practically custom built and would cost about $75. But there's such a demand for the beauty rest. Simmons turns them out and ships them by the thousands. By trains, by boats, and by trucks. And that cuts the price almost in half. And Helen wound up by adding, so you see, this luxurious beauty rest costs only a half a cent a night more than an ordinary mattress. Then she pulls out a notebook and shows them a list of musts she wrote down before she bought the mattress. These were, it must be comfortable, must have edges that won't sag, must have real ventilators, must last longer, 
must not cost too much. And my beauty rest answers them all, she told them. Let me show you. The girls were impressed all right. <laughs> Even Blondie admitted, all that for thirty-nine fifty sounds like a bargain to me. <laughs> I suppose there's no danger of a divorce in this house now. Then I ducked out of sight, but just in time to hear Helen's parting shot. If Archie and I ever do separate, the beauty rest moves out with Mama. <laughs> what a story. You can't fool a woman when she knows what she wants. Sure, but they don't always know. Even though you do explain why the beauty rest is different and better. Now, what do you wise guys suggest I do when a woman wants to see something for about $20? You might give her the other $19.50. Well, if it was me, I'd handle price painlessly by following through with the second part of the old one, too. Show why it's a bargain. Yeah. <laughs> Pop did a nice job with that Swedish woman yesterday. Tell him about it, Pop. Oh, what I went through with her is nobody's business. I've used every sales tactic I could think of, and all I could get out of her was, yeah, I like the beauty rest, it's lovely, but thirty-nine fifty is lot of money, too much, I think. I'd given up the sale completely when she dropped something out of her purse. I crawled under that bed from top to bottom to find what she'd lost, and all the time she kept wailing, I'm afraid it was some money, and she was right. Absolutely right. It was a penny. And when I gave it to her, I was fit to be tied. She did have the grace to say, my, my, all that trouble for a penny. And that gave me a bright idea. A penny buys a whole night's sleep on the beauty rest, ma'am, I told her. It's the pleasantest rest cure I know of, and the cheapest. Believe it or not, that sold her. So, she grinned, for one penny a night, I can afford the best. Hey, thank you, send it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but hold on, Pop. Is that all the beauty rest really costs? The price is thirty-nine fifty, and it's guaranteed for ten years. Figure it out for yourself. I am. Now let's see. Ten times three hundred and sixty-five equals thirty-six hundred and fifty nights in ten years. Divide that into thirty-nine fifty which is the price of the beauty rest, and that makes the cost one and one-twelfth cents a night. Why, that's not enough to buy a newspaper, or even to mail a letter. There's another reason why I like to show customers the beauty rest. It pleases the boss when we push our middle and upper middle price merchandise. See? Sure, I see the trading up improves business, but there are other 3950 mattresses besides the beauty rest. But they're not as easy to sell. I've noticed that, but why? Because Simmons is approaching the public through an entirely different kind of advertising this year, designed especially to help retail salesmen. Aren't you wise to it? Sure, sure, I know that beauty rest advertising reaches millions of homes through the leading national magazines. But look here. This present campaign carries out the same one-two story. One, it shows why the beauty rest is different and better, and two, how little it costs to own one. That's right, and you follow that through when the customers come into the store. Simmons made countrywide surveys among all types of people to find out what they expected from their mattresses. Now, this new advertising informs women everywhere that the beauty rest, and only the beauty rest, offers all the mattress features women want. And as Pop says, give a woman what she wants, Tell her the name of that product. She's half sold before she comes into the store. We all sell other mattresses, of course, Pete. But it's my policy to show the beauty rest first. It's the easiest, fastest way I know to do what the boss requested. Close more sales of better merchandise. Look, Pete, 
Archie and I will show you how it goes. Come on, Archie. Let's put on an act. I'm afraid I've taken a lot of your time looking at these different mattresses, but a girl doesn't get married every day. I understand. You naturally want the mattress that gives you the most for your money. And that's why I'd advise this beauty rest. I don't want to spend all Mama's wedding check on bedding. I do like the beauty rest best, but it costs so much. Is it really so much? Now, you'd spend half a cent a night to sleep on that cheaper mattress over there. How much more do you suppose a beauty rest with all its exclusive features and delicious comfort costs? How much? Only half a cent a night more. No fooling? No fooling. The beauty rest carries a 10-year guarantee. And I can see that you're the type to find budgeting very easy. <laughs> I'll take it. But I bet you tell that to all the boys. <laughs> <laughs> you two can put Hedy Lamar and Robert Taylor in the bread line. <laughs> but you know that half a cent a night more is a painless way of handling price. And my lucky key ring helps. It clinched a beauty rest sale for me only this afternoon. I always use it on uncertain customers. The more I think it over, Pop, the, the more ways I can see to use that one-two stunt of yours. Every salesman works it differently, of course. But for myself, well, I've been in this game a long time. I've analyzed my sales, hundreds of them. And each time I've been successful, I can honestly put it down to two reasons. One, I've told the customer why the beauty rest was different and better. And two, I've showed them why they were getting a bargain. That's the old one, too, for you. Well, the way you tell it, Pop, it seems almost anybody can afford a beauty rest. It not only seems so, it is so. Now you take our laundress, for instance. Yes, and Miss Mamie, the first week after my honeymoon, life sure was grand. And it seems like Sam was the loveliest of all my five husbands. And then he started sleepwalking. <laughs> What did you do for him, Congenial? Did you consult a doctor right away? A doctor? No, ma'am. I just said to myself, Congenial, if his husband trouble, you've had it before, and there ain't nothing can be done about it. But if it's sleeping trouble, maybe a new mattress will fix it. So I bought a beauty rest. But wasn't that a pretty big expense, Congenial, on your salary? I buy it and need the payment. Miss Mamie, most anybody can buy a beauty rest that way to sleep comfortable. Easy payment, eh? Yes, ma'am. That's right. But since we got out a new beauty rest, my trouble done change complexion. <laughs> that new beauty rest is so soft and comfortable, it takes me twice as long to get Sam out of it in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> According to that story, every woman is a potential prospect for a beauty rest, no matter what her income is. I've taken orders for beauty rest for every part of the city from the heights to the other side of the tracks. And where do you suppose the biggest percentage go? To the ritzy homes. No, sir. To the wage earners. The old one, too, sounds to me like the real McCoy. I think you've got something there. Now, let me see if I have it straight. One is prove to customers that the beauty rest is the outstanding mattress in the store. And two is show them why every one of them can afford it. Bright boy, Pete. <laughs> You'll probably be selling beauty rest in his sleep tonight. To beautiful blonde customers. <laughs> Pleasant dreams, kid. Oh, speaking of dreams, I better be moving along. Yeah, it's well, getting late. Go. Well, all the same, I got a lot out of this session. Well, I'm glad you did, Pete. Well, I did. I think it's a good idea to get well, We did the best we could for you. Well, really, you know, learn something about selling. Hi, yes, Mabel. Pete's oh, paying off tonight. Uh, hello, Mabel. Well, maybe my turn tomorrow night. Hey, wait a minute. Look, fellas, Mabel's been holding out on us. Say, who's a lucky guy? Oh, well, what are you doing? Congratulations, Congratulations, Mabel. Uh, bought your furniture yet? We've got my mother's things, but we will be needing a bed. I want to get a good one. What kind would you suggest? Well, you can't go wrong on a beauty rest. 
Why, Pete? Get out of here!